episode of the Sartorial Geek podcast is sponsored by Starship Therapies. Starship Therapies is a podcast that boldly explores all things pop culture, fandom, and psychology. It's hosted by Justine and Larissa, who take traditionally boring and serious topics and talk about them in a refreshing and relatable way. The show will leave you with concrete takeaways that help you better understand yourself and the world and also create lasting change in your life all within the power of fandom. If you enjoy these topics as much as we do, we cannot more highly suggest checking out Starship Therapies wherever you listen to podcasts. Hey, welcome to the Sartorial Geek Podcast. I'm Jordan Ellis of Jordan Today, and I'm here with our co-editor, Liz What's Crowder. Up? No, Liz Crowder Sirota. Oh, oh my God. Right. That's right. I'm Liz Crowder Sirota now, guys. I haven't said that out loud very That's okay. much. I haven't, either. To, like, I haven't actually that. legally changed like my it. name yet because I want to wait until after our honeymoon to New Zealand so that I don't have to get all new documents for travel. That's super <laughs> smart. Because I, I remember what it's happened with you. Yeah. yeah, I almost didn't get <laughs> yeah. to go on my honeymoon because I had half my name in different yeah, things just not, at different points. Not for so. that, especially with the government shut down. Uh, I'm just never going to make oh, it. Oh, yeah. No. Never going to make it out of the Don't airport. Don't do any of that right now. <laughs> <laughs> they are understaffed. Yeah. So. Yeah, I wouldn't trust um, any kind of paperwork to go smoothly at the no, moment. No, so I guess not I even the social security right office. Places. Yeah. No, nothing. Yeah. Keep keep your name while well, you well, have I'm, one. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it for it's now. It's not yes. When things are I am a little bit a little more Liz smoothly. Crowder, unofficially Liz Crowder Sorota. Yeah, so I'll probably say it wrong. That's fine. Right. I'll let you know when I officially okay. change it. Perfect. Um, we are here with another recommendations episode for January. Is that what month it is? Yeah, it's yeah. January. Yeah, it is. Okay. Sure yep. is. Yep. Sure January is. recommendations. Um, yeah, so I feel, actually, I'm looking at the list of questions. They're all things that have to do with, like, relaxing. So clearly I have one thing on my mind right now. They're all like, uh, what do you do with your fun free time that is just relaxing and not work? Um, but we'll start with what is your favorite thing you've watched on Netflix recently? Um, I'm currently, I just finished one thing. I just finished the curious creations of Christine McConnell. Have you seen it? Okay. I saw the trailer for it. Is it good? It is weird it's good it's good enough that i watched every episode yeah i that's couldn't tell if it was because of that like 1950s like jim henson adam's family mashup vibe like all of her outfits i was like i would wear that and her makeup looks amazing and her hair is incredible and then there are these muppet characters and there's murder uh, she like dates a serial killer <laughs> In it, Wait, is it an actual story or is it like a Martha Stewart show? It's, it's kind of both. both. So the stories aren't super fleshed out, but like people will come to the house and her house is amazing. I would totally oh, love that. People will come to the okay. house and then there's like a storyline that kind of cuts off at the end of the episode. Sometimes it lightly transfers over into other episodes. There are two recurring characters that don't live in the house her serial killer boyfriend, and then her cousin, I think. Um, it's murdery. They talk about sex. <laughs> and then she, like... Okay. It's not a cooking show in the sense that they teach you how to make stuff. She does show you how she decorates things, but they kind of gloss over it a little bit. Um, but her... Because it, it is like a craft show, it's not right? Crafts, it's it's kind cooking. Of? So it's like oh, her cooking. baking. Okay. She bakes... And then she'll just kind of like show you how she decorates, and it's her, it's okay. impressive. What she does is impressive, but you don't. She kind of tells you how to do it, but not in any way you can actually follow. <laughs> it's not a step by step guide. No, to, it's not she's a tutorial. super. Like there's one where there's this epic. It's a house that she made out of cake, and she decorates it so. Like so much attention is paid to detail and it's huge. It's a, a replica of her actual house. <laughs> and you're like, I would never what? make that. Whoa. It probably took her definitely more than one day to make. Yeah. Wow. It, but you look at it and you're like, how did you make that out of cake? <laughs> um, so I, okay. I would recommend 
watching it, you don't really have to take it that seriously. It's a little goofy and weird. Um, but I actually really liked it. <laughs> I remember seeing it like, cause it was recommended in my, in my whatever, when you sign on and it gives you things that things you'll like. And I watched the little trailer and I was like, I can't tell what this that, show and is. Because there's no real way. It's all creepy baking too. Like nothing cutesy. It's all in one episode, the neighbor comes over to complain about the noise. <laughs> And her creations, like she, there are some animals that she kind of like rescues. Uh, one's like a raccoon that she brought back to life that has like a fork for a hand. And they kidnap the neighbor and they're trying to kill him in the basement while she's upstairs baking. <laughs> yeah, it's bizarre. It's bizarre. It's very okay. Adam's family. But then there are Muppets. That's the only okay. way I can think of to describe it. And then, yeah, yeah. And then baked goods. I can sort of You picture. can't, though, because it's not a real genre. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is its own thing entirely, but I think it... Well, I guess I'll just have I to think watch it. it kind of works. Uh, and the other thing I'm watching started in the 90s, but apparently it's still going today. I only just started it. Midsummer what? Murder. Oh, uh, yeah. I've watched <laughs> I'm a lot of obsessed that. With yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching it for yeah. maybe the past two days, and it's making me so happy. And you have like 100 I know. More there are 122 total. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I looked it up. Uh, and I, Which is so many because that's a, that's a British yeah, show, right? Yeah. So, British shows normally the seasons will have like five to ten episodes and there will be like one or two seasons and that's it and this is the opposite Although the of that epi- it's like the seasons, unlimited the episodes. seasons at least the first season only has like six episodes but they're each an hour and yeah. 40 minutes oh yeah, yeah they're yeah. like long it's not short that's but it true. is a british detective show that is based on a novel or a series of novels. I'm glad you said that and reminded me that I have more episodes to watch and I would like to it do that. It <laughs> makes so me good. really happy. So those are what I'm watching. What about you? I am watching uh, the season two of The Punisher, which just came out. Um, and I'm I'm kind of sad watching, like, the Marvel Netflix shows are my favorite, but now... I think they're all being canceled to like. I thought they just because Disney they just got them though. Well, they did, but now Disney's doing its own streaming service, and then all of the all of the shows are being canceled. So it kind of seems like they're taking them down to maybe. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if they can continue them or if they're just over now and they're doing their own thing. But it's kind of a bummer to watch it because you're like. Oh, this is then. Like, yeah. I'm excited, but there isn't going to... And it's not because they're not good. There just aren't going to be more yeah. of anything. Which That's not great. So it's a little, it's a little like... It's a little sad, completely unrelated from the content yeah. of the show, just the idea of them. Um, but it's... So far, I'm still towards the beginning, but so far, it is... I'm completely into it. I loved season one. So I've I'm only like seen all about, a few episodes of season one. It gets, so I'm not like, I'm not like super into like a lot of violent fighting things, but I can usually handle it. And there were a bunch of times I had to look away. So in season one, you mean? uh, Yeah. The end gets the, like the final episode. There was like a solid, like five minutes where I was like, I just can't look. I'm pretty good in Unless it feels super realistic. Like when I was over at your house, super realistic. We saw that one episode of Breaking Bad because you guys were watching it. And it was the first episode I had seen. And then that guy gets beat to death in the parking lot. And you hear that like fist on flesh sound. Uh And I was like, I. that. That is a little. A little too much. Yeah, sometimes it'll be like machine gun, like show offs or not show offs. What's standoff standoffs yeah i was like that's the wrong <laughs> word standoffs um so that like isn't as i mean whatever it's people being violently murdered but it doesn't feel as like what you were saying where it's like i'm just gonna push your face into is this it thing. you know stylized? what i mean like that is it like yeah see, i can still yeah. kind of disassociate a little bit it's when it feels like a home movie 
it, yeah, it's not as style. Like, it's not like Tarantino okay. level where you're like, this isn't even humans anymore. Yeah, like, it's, it's just, just like, like insane. <laughs> it's more real than that, but it's, it is. Okay. Yeah, then it I'd is. probably be so, fine. I mean, try it. You can also, I mean, like, I watch it and then just close my eyes when I think it's going to be terrible. And then Do you want to know, you like, can, another example of what I mean is when I was, I haven't watched this movie in ages, but I watched Oliver Twist when I was young, like, like the, the musical yeah. movie. Yeah. And when she gets beat with the cane, oh, that yeah. made me, like, I nearly threw up. It's like yeah. that kind of violent where you couldn't really yeah. see a lot. But you could, like, see enough, and it felt real enough that you're like, oh, no, I need to tap out. <laughs> I mean, one of the good things about the Punisher show is that most of the people who are getting hurt, like, deserve it. Or, like, they're, like, bad guys, not, like, it's not, like, innocent people being maybe tortured that is most my, of the time. May, so that maybe helps. that is my uh, line in the sand. Is if they're innocent yeah, or I, if they're relatable at all? Yeah, like, I mean, you know, that's not completely true across the board. But it is a lot of, like, this person has been the villain oh, for the then, whole time. And now they're getting their them. face smashed in. And you're like, okay, <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, they all, you know, the show does a pretty good job of, it's like, everyone is a person, too. So it's not like, I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot. Yeah, okay, that's good. good to know. So try it. Try it and let me know. Also, was the Oliver Twist movie a musical? I remember a lot of singing. I think so. I'm trying to... I have, like... I feel like all of the movies from that, like, in that sort of setting that I watched as a kid are just all the same in my head right now. Like, I'm trying to think of which scenes all the, like, sad, orphan, like, early 1900s or, like, 1800s yeah. British... Not British, but, like, that... I'm just picturing all of that together, and I don't, I don't know, know which one was which. I'm now I'm like, what? Yeah. Am I thinking of the Newsies? But I remember singing in this. I mean, Newsies is definitely... Well, that singing. I know, but now I'm wondering if I'm getting, like, little boys in hats. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's all I but I do know that the murder scene was in Oliver Twist, and that bad guy beat his girlfriend with a cane. And murdered yeah. her. And I was like, no, thank you. Yeah, and that's supposed to be... I mean, I saw that as a kid, too. Who decided that? It was, that? like, was behind... Fine. They kind of, like, made him go off with her behind, like, a stairwell or something. Like, something was blocking the view, but you could hear the sound of hitting. And I think you could see a little blood. And that okay. was, like, yeah. super triggering to me. Like, I still remember yeah. it, and I'm 30... I'm almost 31. So yeah. I remember it vividly, but yeah. Okay. Punisher. Really it's not that. So I can watch it. Well, don't, I mean, I would just say if you start watching it and you're like, Jordan lied to me, then stop. No, because I'll just call you out. It's worse than I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to say it's no, easy. It's fine. I'll just text eyes, you. Be like, you yeah, yeah, just be mad. monster. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> okay, this next question is way less violent, awesome. I think, I'm assuming. Um, I was wondering, do you, when you're, like, going to sleep, do you listen to anything, or do you, like, play anything? Do you have, like, music or podcasts or um, audiobooks? Or? Not really. I used to listen to music to go to sleep uh, when I was younger. Uh, since I moved in with Andrew, he is super noise sensitive so i can't really oh, i can't really listen yeah. to anything he wears earplugs and he can still hear everything i'm doing yeah Whoa. so i don't really that's not really my thing right now uh do you if you're like if you're staying somewhere like or like by yourself do you some or are you just like used t- to it i'm now? pretty used to just not right now and I'm trying to do this thing where I like stop staring at screens and like filling my brain with constant noise maybe 30 minutes before bed so I can just be like alone with my thoughts yeah it's not it's easier said than done uh but that's yeah which is stupid because it sounds it's like of course but I'm now thinking about actually doing that I'm like yeah because you have to like (laughs) put your computer away 
and your phone yeah, kind of too you to have to that. put like your phone on do not disturb you have to like yeah there are a bunch of steps you have to take and then you're like mm, this is boring i can't even go to the bathroom without a book like <laughs> yeah no, what seriously. am i supposed to do for 30 minutes <laughs> uh, what about you um same thing like i i love sleeping so i don't need like if i'm tired i will just pass out like I don't need any type of oh me anything neither I can sleep, sleep anywhere um I if I'm having a hard time like if I'm if I'm like anxious about something or or sometimes if I drank like too much caffeine which almost never happens but there's a limit where I'm like oh I'm still yeah. shaky at night um I there are some free like meditation podcast that I'm subscribed to and they all have episodes that are like calming, relaxing, restful. So sometimes having a person talk, like say things that are like, and now close your eyes and breathe. Like it's very, um, that's nice. Or if I'm, if I'm by myself, sometimes, uh, I'll just put on like my favorite murder or like any podcast, like an old episode that I've already listened to, just to like have people talking. (laughs) I I would say if I need, if I'm having a hard time going to sleep and I need to, I'll do yoga. Like I'm doing yoga with Adrian. I'm doing her 30 days of yoga right now, which started on the 1st of January. Um, And I'm actually, I'm pretty good. Oh, so you're like three weeks in now. Yeah, no, I'm like in it to win it. Um, But it is very, very relaxing. And it kind of like resets because my commute is really long and I'm always angry when I get home and I have to like signal to my body that it that we're home now and it's time to just switch gears so i'll do that sometimes yeah something else actually i got this idea from uh martin and jenny who designed the magazine this was like i don't remember some years ago this so first of all they've been together for a long time and they're like the cutest couple in the world (laughs) um they own a design agency together and they are lovely people and i just remember one of the times where i was like oh my god you just melted my heart they were telling me that they were going to bed by reading like chapters of the harry potter books to each other and i was like well that's the (laughs) cutest thing i've ever heard and so recently for some reason it keeps coming up that Joey hasn't read more than one book and he just like, won't like, he just, he's just not going to. Um, and he's been having trouble sleeping lately. So I was like, okay, we can try what they're doing. So now he doesn't read ever because like, not because he can't, like, he's just, he's, he's trying to go to sleep. So like, I have been reading, um, through the Harry Potter books. We're, we don't get very yeah, far. So really. like it's been happening for a while and we're on chapter four of book one right yeah. now. Cause we'll read like six pages, but it makes me really tired yeah, too. That's fair. Like, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Now I definitely am sleeping. I used so. to read those to Sage <laughs> when I was her nanny. Yeah. Aww. Every night before bed actually, which is how I read the books because I hadn't before then. It's night. And like the story, it's a good bedtime story yeah. because it's like a lovely fantasy children. Kind book. Of. I mean, it gets, it gets intense. Really yeah. intense. And then it, it gets a little it's crazy. I was like, there are going to be. fifth season of Buffy darkness. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. I was like, there's a point where we're going to get to like parts of the story. Because, the you know, the first two books are They're like. Still babies. Pretty. Yeah. It's Aren't pretty like common. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, 11. Like, yeah, they're, they're, they're children. So I was like, we're going to have to switch this up when it gets to the later books because you're going to have to like pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> like real plot lines that aren't in the movies are yeah. happening and you're going to miss stuff. This episode of the Sartorial Geek Podcast is sponsored by Jordan Denae. Jordan Denae is your one-stop shop for fandom fashion. We've got everything you need to put together a casual cosplay outfit or add a little geekery to your home. Our designs are all inspired by our favorite characters in stories throughout history and pop culture. You can check us out at conventions all over the country at jordandenae.com and all over the internet at jordandenae.nyc. Um, my next question is, oh, I don't know if you will have an answer for this, but I have been, um, I've been on like a real mug kick lately i mean i always am but i was wondering if you have a favorite place to shop for 
mugs, like coffee mugs. I'm actually on a ban from buying any more mugs until we move to a That's bigger fair. house because Andrew says I have too many. Uh, I mean, I have a lot right. of mugs. I like to buy them. It used to be every place I traveled to overseas. Oh, that's cool. I would buy a new mug. Uh, now I just, you know, I have some of yours. I have like one that says punk ass book jockey on it. I like yeah. one that has like the initial E for my name. Like I have a whole, I think it's two shelves in my cabinet just devoted to not like mugs for the house, but like my special mugs. And then we have like regular mugs that match for for everybody else. Yeah, you used to have a shelf at Still your last do. apartment, didn't you? Have like a <laughs> yeah, 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 like a yeah, this is my mug shelf. Now. And it was so that cute. was like eight years it. ago. So. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's no. great. That's me. The only good thing, which is sad but kind of good sometimes, is that like sometimes mugs break, which is sad. But then you're like, okay, now I can get a new one. Just, like I was never gonna throw it away. He just broke but, one of my mugs, and because he felt so bad and thought he might break another one, he replaced it with two of the same. So I <laughs> now I have an extra. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have awesome. but we don't break mugs too often <laughs> wine glasses we break all the time but my mugs just i don't even own those anymore they're they're just no so point. fragile they're just all drink broken. out of your mugs yeah that's what i'm saying <laughs> and then i do that in other people's houses and i was like oh this is not common no. behavior to drink wine out of like a regular Certainly kitchen isn't. glass but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it because I'll spill yeah, everything no. or that's break fair. everything that's fair what about you um so I love I love like I don't think I've ever seen a place that sells mugs that I didn't want some of them but the place I've been like really really eyeing lately is um kit Kronk, which is uh, K-I-T-C-R-O-N-K. She's um, she's written for the blog before. She is a really cool lady who lives, I think, in Australia. I think it's not New Zealand. I think she's in Australia. But she has a mug shop, which is super cute, and it's, like, really literary inspired and a little bit nerdy. But then also she does a mug of the month, like the way Jordan Day does a shirt of the month, which is cool. So there's, like, new designs coming through all the time. Um, so that's been my favorite, that's, that's my awesome. favorite place to shop lately. Yeah. Um, we kind of, well, no, we didn't talk about this. Uh, what is the best book that you have read lately? Um, but I think I haven't actually read a new book since, uh, the V.E. Schwab books that we talked about, which was yeah. in December. Well, so- if you are, are rereading an old book, that's funny because that's what I'm doing actually, too. So I'm actually one. more, I'm writing more right now than I am reading Look at just because I started my class up again. So that's, that's what I've awesome. been doing with my reading time. I have 50 pages oh, I love that. of my novel, which is actually the most. Stop. That's it's the crazy. most I've ever written for one thing. Before that, my record was 30 pages. Usually I write short stories. So this is like 50 pages is a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. (laughs) It's a lot. Uh, And it's double spaced, but still. Um. I mean, (laughs) yeah, that's not, that's not disqualifying. So that's, yeah, that's how I've been spending my days lately. Yeah. Uh, What are you rereading? I'm like, you have a real reason you haven't been reading (laughs) lately. Mine is like, just because I still don't read very much. Um, But I have been doing really, really short commute rides, which is like kind of hard to read something new because you get like three yeah, pages and then you're like, oh, I forget. Um, but I'm rereading Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five because, yeah, I think um, I don't know exactly when it'll happen, but I'm hoping to get a tattoo that is like inspired by that book. And then I also, it's like more because I like the meaning and less because I'm like obsessed with Mm -hmm. the book because I've only read it once. But I was like, if I'm going to get this tattoo that is like from this, I should probably have read it in the past Uh, 10 years because people are going to talk to me about it. Some people get tattoos that are quotes of something that they've never seen or read. Yeah. And like no judgment on that, but I was like, 
there is just no way I don't have significantly more conversations about Kurt Vonnegut in my future if I get this. So, like, I might as well at least refresh. Because like, his shit is short is as hell, good. too. It's not long. Yeah, his yeah. chapters so aren't it's long. Not like a chore. Yeah, his sentences aren't long. Everything is very, very succinct. Which is perfect for yeah. a short commute. And, yeah, like, I'm not mad about it. I love his writing. So yeah, he's good. Um, I went through a phase. I can't remember. It was like sometime, sometime after college. I think it was when I was commuting more and then like reading more where I read a bunch of his books at once. Like I was like, Oh, I'm obsessed with Carvana again. I'm just going to read them all. So now I don't really kind of like we were saying about TV shows and movies. I can't totally remember which parts of which stories are with. No, which that's book, Cause I just read like a yeah, bunch at once. Fair. So that's kind of fun to like go back and be like, okay, this is the complete yeah. story of this book that all goes yeah, together. Yeah, I guess that. Um, yeah. Um, okay, this is not really a recommendation. This is just a thing that I want to talk about because there's so much Marvel stuff happening. I'm like, Captain Marvel's coming out and then Infinity War 2 is coming out. I just want to know, who's your favorite Avenger? Um, I'm probably the least qualified person to answer this question. and I, I mean, it's a, it's a favorite yeah. question, so you can, anyone and you want I to don't be a favorite. I have a valid, I don't have a very good reason for why. That's fine. Uh, okay. But Doctor Strange, and my, my, Yo, not, very good, that's surprising. my not very good reason is Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I thought you were going to say uh, T'Challa. No, actually, no. He isn't even my favorite in Black Panther. Okay, my well, favorite fair. is, you know who. <laughs> the the yeah, fucking built vegetarian. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, he is, uh, yep. he is my type. Yep. Like, to a T. He's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> he is fantastic. Uh, yeah, no, Dr. Strange. The minute he said one funny thing, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> this is mine. This is Before he even <laughs> said anything, you. I was like, you're, yeah, you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes I back. Know. Like, he gets more screen time. It was wonderful. Yeah, no, I'm about him. Uh, I do love T'Challa, but he's just not my... F- he, uh, if I had to have, like, a second favorite that so he, he would be but i loved benedict Cumberbatch first that's my yeah. problem the movie came out first or yeah it, yeah, it, it, yeah not only that, okay. but like i know benedict from like other bbc stuff so i like oh, love yes. him from He's sherlock lovely. uh yeah you know what else was fun about that watching him do his american accent in doctor strange gave me like extreme well plus i guess his his career reminded me a lot of uh hugh laurie in house which i also, also john barrowman every day yeah he's scottish true. as hell that's so his crazy. accent is scottish and then he and then he's just his persona is this American accent he learned as a kid because he got made fun of when wow. his parents moved here. So when he goes back to hang out with his parents and like in his old neighborhood, he switches, he like code switches right back to his Scottish accent. And his husband doesn't even like it when he talks like that. Cause it's just not the John he knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. If you know someone for, you know, a very yeah. long time, you're like, what's this accent? That's and actually he can switch you. it. For real. Like that, like out of nowhere. I don't think I've ever even do a YouTube heard. search of yeah, yeah, John well, Scottish accent, and it's it is wow. so bizarre. It's so bizarre because <laughs> you just forget. Awesome. You forget. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't know that actually until right now. I mean, I assumed he was like British and some some version but i had no idea he had like a an extreme it's, scottish accent that's awesome it's bananas <laughs> okay well i'm excited that's gonna be what i do with the rest of my day and then text me about it i okay. sure will <laughs> we'll we'll uh put a video in the no, show no really notes, we so should you don't even we have to yeah, yeah so you don't have to even do your yeah. own research we'll just we'll have it right yes. there for you <laughs> um i think my favorite adventure i mean i like I like a lot of people. Um, I mean, I think I like all of them, but I think my favorite is Captain America. Interesting. He's, um, 
Yeah, he's like the, I mean, I don't think he's right all the time. Like I've been involved in a lot of conversations, especially post uh, civil war about like who has the moral high ground and who's doing all the right things. I'm not saying he's perfect, but I really, really, he reminds me of a lot of people in my real life that I like Mm -hmm. a lot. Like, but it's also really funny. Like I love the version of him. That's like the, like, the guy that like yells at people for like using like bad yeah, language he's a bit, in the middle of a war. But, like it's yeah. so I he's love like that. He's a bit vanilla I, and a bit totally. I'm all about it. A bit straight laced <laughs> and like a he's like a boy, like an adult boy scout. And I'm he is, he's very I boy scouty. He reminds me of all the kids I went to Sunday school with growing up. <laughs> He reminds me of uh, a kid we I went know to the one with. I was going to say his name, and then I was like, no one's going <laughs> to know mean, him. <laughs> you guys don't know our friends from college. But, but no, it's very um, him. It's very him. And he also, like, this is, like, probably, like, I bet there's some type of, like, nostalgic tie. But, like, uh, Joey, who I'm married to now, when we started dating in high school, was way more similar to that, like, sweet little Boy Scout um, I Follow would not say he's so much like that yeah, right now at all, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's the, like, I'm very into that personality. I think I am that's not. my like soft spot that I mean, super that's fair. Like, I'm not even saying it's that's good. Like, no, <laughs> this is, it's I need good. someone with a, a few flaws. Cause I just feel like you're faking it. Yeah. If you're too fair. good all the time, I'm like, ah, bullshit. <laughs> Well, and also killer. the <laughs> argument that it's kind of boring is like so valid boring. Too, you yeah. know what just I mean? Just be like a yeah, real human and like say fuck sometimes. We're in a war. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's super true. Language. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that scene so much. It's so great. It's so great. Yeah. Oh man. Now I'm just like, I don't even think I could actually rate the Avengers in favorite or like I just everyone is okay but you had one you had a favorite who's your second yeah I have a favorite favorite? well that's what I'm trying to think there are a bunch tied I mean my first like my my gut answer was um purely based on the actor I am obsessed with Paul Rudd so like Ant-Man as a character is like I don't even really care but I love Paul Rudd so I think that's why I watched three quarters of that movie and I didn't finish it just because I I was think I was traveling and then I lost track of time or whatever but yeah I liked his character in that movie like I mean He's superhero Paul Rudd. What's not to like? And he was it's definitely amazing. flawed. Like, he, and I was about that. Yeah, uh, like maybe yes. the most. And I was like, Thank of you. <laughs> yeah, you're oh, a real yeah. human who makes mistakes yeah, and yeah, also yeah. has redeeming qualities. Like that, I could that I support and I get. I to, I would t- I totally get that. Yeah, I think he's my second. The only other person like Thor from like he's just hot. Rock, Thor. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I actually think he's Which, hotter than Captain America, and I and I like him more than Captain America. He is the same kind of like, I'm a god, but he's just so he's so not self aware as to how he sounds. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. But it's humorous and funny, and I I'm about it. He's a treat. He like, is. He, is he just takes absolute... himself so seriously that oh, it comes off really he's... funny. <laughs> So, like, his, so, I mean, I saw all the movies. I liked the first two. So then, like, partially his haircut in Ragnarok, I was like, thank God, this is the best. But then I feel like his character is so fun to watch and that movie is so great. So then when he's in Infinity War interacting with everyone else, like, when he interacts with the yes. Guardians, that is my yes. favorite <laughs> everything. It's so, like, him meeting someone else and they're... They can't, they're not on the same page. But it thinks that they are. (laughs) It's so great. It's so great. I would watch that scene like on repeat forever. I just made Andrew watch uh, Infinity War with me. Oh, good. So you can see the second one. So, and that was like the scene where he finally started laughing. (laughs) (laughs) Because he does, he takes himself so seriously. And he's like, so Why don't these little people understand what I'm trying to tell them? <laughs> I know. And then, like, 
him and yeah. Rocket buddying yeah. up. I'm I was about like, it. Perfect. I'm about it. And like Star Lord being so intimidated was also yeah, perfect. Also, he, like, like, every single thing we're about mad at this. Him, so yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. was perfect. <laughs> Everything was great. This was this was really fun. This was like a very a very light hearted. That's what we questions. need right now. I, 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 was say, I think that's what my free can handle because I'm not getting paid. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. So that's a perfect lead into if you want to um, help support us while well, we're scared, I work for the government, which is shut down, and I'm not getting um, a paycheck. Yeah. So I mean, you know, not to not to prey on a uh, no. On we that, are praying on, on that. Us. But we will. If you want, yeah, if you want to uh, check out our Patreon, we have all kinds of rewards between $1 and $25. We also have um, two issues of the magazine are going to come out really close together uh, because we uh, were a little late on this this current one, but then that means the next one will just be so soon. So if you want to subscribe to you'll that, you'll get one right after the get, other. You'll get them back to back. It's It'll be, be good for you and um, bad for us. Yeah, and if you don't, uh, if you also don't have extra money right now, there are tons of things. If you want to, like, leave us a rating or a review or share this with someone you think would like it or uh, share some articles from our website that you think are cool or take a picture with our magazine and share it and tag us, there are so many ways that uh, you can help out without costing me one thing. Yep. So just kidding about before. Um, you don't have to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know. Oh, or if you're a business that you would like us to uh, help tell other people about your business, let us know. We have a whole sponsorship yeah, we do. tab on our website at sartorialgeek.com if you want to partner with us there. But yeah, I think that's I, I think, think so it. too. This is a this is a perfect this is exactly what January Happy feels like New so year. far. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks for hanging yeah, out with us, guys. Yeah, stay nerdy, man. Stay nerdy. Bye. Bye. Bye.